Hey, love bugs, it's rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed in Holly Paver and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all, this video today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, you don't realize how many demons and legions you are slaying just by the little steps you are cha uh, changing the place to become better. It is true. You don't know how much you are just the littlest adjustment into your life. To become that greatest version of yourself you don't know that is knocking down so many different things that has been coming against you like i've been hearing so many different videos uh lately and it was just like the visions i was getting before the videos came out was like really chilling to me because it's just you know when you start clearing your mind of unnecessary things it's like the the things that you need to grow the things that you need to watch out for the things that's giving you omens you know um it's taking place to where it's going to be a part of your growth even if even if the things is riding against you it's going to be part of your growth just like i said in the video the other day what's hurting is helping you and it really is um and then i was like the vision I was having it was like I, I get visions of Buffy and the Vampire Slayer it made me think about this you know the, the the thing that was happening with the ascension you know with the the mayor and and the, what was the mayor and the principal no it was just the mayor when Buffy and every, you know all these slayers had to come in and you know they just knocking them out left and right you know it was like Angel and uh Spike came in that's my boy Spike <laughs> you know all them were coming in and they were really just doing the thing and I was getting those and plus it was like me seeing empaths, you know, and we're all in armor. And it was just like we feel, we look defeated. Like you can tell we've been fighting for so long, you know. You see some of us that didn't make it, you know. And it's just like we took that kneel and when we had that, you know, the knife. I mean, not the knife, but the sword. And we're taking that kneel. And then we had some that was just like this. And you see all this darkness was coming again against them it was just like their past you know their hurt their pain you know different things where people were placing on them to bind them to suffering bind, binding them to sadness anger madness all these different things and it's just like you when you actually get to that point where we can complain all day you know if you know you ain't putting in the work for making that change then you really don't have no reason to complain because you're allowing yourself to sit and marinate in that craziness chaos you know, if it's chaotic in your vibration, it's either you gonna allow that chaos to end up consuming you or you gonna allow that to be able to create something new of you. You know, I used to be that type of person where I complained about so many different things, but I gave so many excuses on not putting the effort in the change. And it was just like I got mad because I felt like, oh, for a couple of days I did this and then stuff didn't still j didn't change for me. I couldn't get mad. You know, because it's like, when I, I, it always remind me what my mom used to say, God rest her soul. She's like, if you get tired of different things, you're getting tired of dealing with certain people, you won't put in that work for that to change. You know, because a lot of time these things hit you to hurt you, to help you to get on to something else because universe and God knows you deserve better. You know, universe and God knows that you deserve peace in your life. You don't need to be losing your sleep off of no situation and no person. You know, no, you weren't put on this earth for you to be beat up all the time from different things you can't change, things that, you know, it's hard for us to accept, you know, and then different things that we place loved in, it was clearly not reciprocating, you know, and these different things, you know, I, you know, I've been transparent with y'all, you know, if it's a, a experience that I can share with y'all to help you, I'm allowed that to happen because there's a lot of times it's like, okay, I'm going to apply that to the game, charge it to the game, to the growth. But I don't need to be talking about that because that's like you, you re-entering that type of damage back into your life and you just don't want it anymore. And it's at that point where I was mad depressive, you know, I, a PTSD, OCD, a, a, um, ADD, all them different crazy acronyms, you know, that I had to deal with. Because anybody know if you were ADD and you got OCD and PTSD, everything is amplified. It can be one little argument and it will just mess up your whole day. 
And that was at that point where I had to challenge myself. The same thing is irritating my soul. It's showing me that it don't need to be in my life. Anything that, you know, I constantly kept being combative with. Or if it came to me and I had to come back to it and go back. It's just telling me, why are you entertaining that stuff? It was clearly just showing you, this is not needed in your life. Stop using this. It's something to get back because you feel like you got to have the last word. A lot of times, you, it was just like, it reminded me of that, that post I sent out. Never respond to shade. Never respond to shade. The moment them folks can't bother, is the, you won the moment they can't bother. You won the moment where people started trying to go out their way to sabotage you. You won the moment where everybody started watching you. You know? And then when you start thinking in that vibration, you already won. A lot of times we stay on the battlefield fighting. It's like you fighting a ghost. You fighting. You already don't want the battle. What the hell are you still up on the battlefield for? You know, shoot, we about to have a party. You know, it's just like we don't want the Super Bowl of Olympics of impacts. You know, and you sitting up here still out here. Everybody out here parlaying and junk like that. Probably river dancing and doing whatever else. The sugar book. Whatever. Why are you still out here fist fighting the dag on air? You know, and these are the things, even though when they're, these are the things that's coming into your life to better you. And it's just like the video I put out the other day. Whatever is hurting you is helping you. And a lot of times we don't want to hear that. There'll be some people who are like, they'll know the truth and totally skip that. But if it's my enemies, oh, they're going to try to sit up here because they want to take notes on seeing how you can piss me off today. And it's just like with me, I got to that point where it is what it is, you know. You have to understand people that go out their way to sabotage you. People that go out their way and watch you. There's something very intriguing about you that they want to stop. You can't stop it unless God do. You know, anything you place on somebody, God is using that for that person's growth. And I keep telling people that I don't care how people are so determined on bringing you down. That the exact things that they think is destroying you is going to elevate you in the best way. In the best way. Because it's like people say. They, they tell you your haters are your best supporters. Because they think you're great. And that's true. They really think you're great. Because the fact is they want to destroy anything. That knows that it can take you towards that next level. And it's not about sitting up here poking at somebody. Throwing shade at nobody. It's not. You know. But anytime if you know that's what you're doing. And that triggers you. And that, that tells you that that was for you. You know. But it's just at that point where I can sit up here and look back and I'm so grateful for all the things that came into my life because it showed me how determined. Like God is testing you all the time because it's like God knows how I've been ripping and running and everything like that um, to do what I got to do. And he's like, hey, you, you know, this is, can be a CS today. No, the heck it's not. <laughs> I got stuff to do. You know, you know, gave me this insight where I got to project it towards different people that are truly needing that. And that's going to be my my duty for the day. He's like, you catch it on. You catch it on. Because God will throw that. You know, God got dark humor. He really do. Because he's like, you You know, I was tired. You know, and I'll be, and I'm just like, I'm so tired. You know, because I was running so much. And I love that kind of tired in my life. When I know I've been productive. And I know I've been moving. You know. Because it's just at that point. When I know that my situation in a situation has ended and I'll close the door I'm going to do everything in my effort to show myself it ain't proven to nobody out there but this is a proof to me you know universe puts you in different things for you to see your own potential within yourself recognize your own light it cannot be dimmed you know and a lot of times you know our mind is the most powerful weapon that's why people try to control you that's why they try to manipulate you they try to throw a monkey wrench in your program if it's something and it's at that point if it's something that can't be changed today or it can't be changed within your efforts of changing it it's out your hands let god handle it you know don't be out there allowing yourself to be you know everybody is throwing stuff in your face and you know doing everything to hurt you they only hurting themselves they're helping you but they're hurting themselves they're not doing nothing that they're doing to you that they're not doing to themselves first you know this life would be so peaceful if people mind their own business and stop worrying about what such and such is doing over there let's see how we can make chaos over there if you worried about your own self Healed yourself. You never know what kind of blessings God got for you. You know. But it, it's at that point where. You know. You can't tell anybody nothing. Because they so determined on destroying you. And it, it's just like. A lot of times we get that vibration. Like. Oh I hate that person. It's like. Hate such an ugly word. I used to use that. I ain't even going to lie. I ain't going to sit up here and pinpoint somebody else doing it. Because I did it. I place judgment heavy on folks. 
you know, and you even probably threw it shade up here. Not something I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not even gonna give that airplay or video play, but I'm just saying I'm thankful for them. I'm thankful for them because this allows me to keep going. This allows me to keep moving. Because you already know I ain't got to worry about I used to be like, <laughs> I know that's going to piss them off because I said this and this and that today. Or, oh, I know I'm about to ruffle some feathers. I don't even got to say that. Why are you going to worry? You already know some people are watching. You already know the people are trying to already, in their melee, already trying to make some shit happen, you know, to destroy all that. But it's at that point where you use your fear to fuel you to become a better person. You are fierce. You fierce and fast and furious, all of that together combined. You know, your evolution, you know, and these things are showing you that just because the fact is it's going because it's like the video I put out. If it ain't hurting, it's helping, and big things ain't popping if the devil ain't trying to stop it. It's not. Because if you get to the point where you're doing everything and you ain't got nobody coming at you with no negative vibrations, no drama, stupidity, showing how immature that they are by doing little stupid things that they know may irritate you or they thought that may irritate you, you ain't doing nothing. You know, and I'm not trying to tell nobody that because the fact is they may be making a little effort. But you have to understand even the littlest changes you're making is going to impact you somewhere later. Because when you're allowing yourself to challenge yourself, there's a lot of times we don't like change. We don't like challenge. And we wonder why it gets so hard because sometimes we're not accepting challenge or accepting change or we're resisting it. And that's why a lot of things start irritating you and you're trying to wonder why. And there, there's also times where God will start adding heat to you. You know, he'll start adding karma towards your life, you know, and it'll allow me to remind me of post that karma is where there's a there's clearly some people in your life that will disrespect you, disappoint you, embarrass you in any kind of way. When universe is telling you, let them people go. Allow them to be blessed in their own mess. God don't bless no mess anyway. You do not be good. You you know they say you don't look good by trying to make others look bad. You don't have to do that. Allow that character, you know, it's going to slip up anyway. Because a lot of times, you know, that's why I tell people, you have to understand. When people doing criminal minded stuff, you doing these different things. How you see these people? Because I love watching crime shows. It's just like, why well, I be looking at stuff like you already know. You don't, especially if you watch them with me. You know, I'm like, you already know who the heck they're going to be pinpointing. They did something. Why are you doing that? You know, and I be just looking at folks like that half of the time. Especially when me and my folks used to just keep it up and just be laughing. And I'm like, you already know. You already know, I'll be watching stuff and it's like, no, what not to do. <laughs> it's like, what not to do. But it's just showing you how criminals get caught because they get careless. They get sloppy. They get comfortable. You know, and that's just at that point. Because a lot of times, you know, even in my past, I used to always want to spotlight the different things that people have done to me. Because that's what led me to my purpose. And then it had that point is, if I didn't go through this, I would have never been able to make the most beautiful people I met through this, this platform, through this experience. I would have never been able to meet the most intelligent people. It ain't about sitting up here capping or, you know, trying to blow smoke up your butt or whatever, trying to make a big hit because you are very beautiful. You're very strong, you know. But a lot of times we have weak moments and that's okay. We all learn it. We're all growing, we're all educating, we're all strengthening, we're all healing, you know. And these are the very factors that is taking place in our life to strengthen us. Because like I said, when I had that vision, I'm seeing different ones. Because when I say that mess was intense, like I smelled sulfur. Like you smelling rotted meat. All oh, I'm like, where is like death done rolled over twice, came back just to say, hi. It was like one of those things, you know. Where it was coming at us heavy, destroying our sleep, you know, messing with our mind, our energy, you know, just draining us and all these different things. Constantly reminding us of the things that hurt us in the past, what other people did, what other people are doing. Things that we didn't realize was happening behind our backs and they wanted to show us. But these are the different things where you're like, it's enough. And when I said, when I woke up Godzilla in the worst kind of way, it got to that point where empaths got tired of dealing with that because it was very repetitive and it got to that point it was like a gnat like you ready to swat it you know and then when it's just like when it, when I say it was when it was like millions of us and then that one empath said enough and banged their hands and fists on the uh, ground 
and you feeling all the it was like an earthquake that just rippled all the way down from the empath because you showed that one empath like no we already don't won this war you already don't won the war you know you don't have to sit up here and and you know react to the devil's shade like that you won the day they became bothered you did you won the day they became bothered you won the moment when they start tallying up different people to gang on one person that lets you know you powerful as hell if you only one person and you need about a hundred folks coming up against you you just one person why do you need all these folks to do it that's what's letting you know because a lot of times we can be stuck like i'm tired of enemy keep doing this i'm tired of this you know people coming in left and right da, 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 da. think about it this is why we're trying to f reflect you finesse you if you got millions of people you know and unknown trying to get up on you just one person even though you're a spiritual being that that, that weighs a million you know you got a million different talents. You got a million different gifts. You know, they just haven't all yet been revealed yet. They can't do that. Not in the suits that we in. You don't know, slammed us down in this human suit and got us all stuck, busted, and disgusted. But it's just that whole point. A lot of times you got to remind yourself when you're feeling overwhelmed about what the devil is doing, what these enemies are out here trying to do to you. Think about that. You are very powerful if there is a million people that's going against one person. They must know you you packing a very powerful punch if it takes all that many people just for one person. If that don't help you, if nothing else I say help you, allow that to help you. Let that sink into you. Cause I got people that I know, you know, I, I say I got family in high places and good good spaces that just gives me those little insights. I'm like, damn, cuz that's what's happening. Oh, Auntie, thank you. You know, and they show me. I'm like, okay, you know, back on the, uh, okay, back on the saddle I go. But these are the things that are showing you. You already won the battle. You know, when people start working in armies to defeat you, you already won. Because they know if you step foot in that right foot, in that right essence, when you being, God is finessing the heck out of you. They're saying, boo-boo, you got this. You are stronger than you give yourself credit for it. How many things that if you were facing, you felt like you weren't going to be able to overturn this, or you didn't feel like you can conquer this, or you didn't have the strength or the patience to take this, and all of a sudden, miraculously, you don't overcome those things. There will be different people where you felt like you wouldn't be able to live and breathe without, and I'm going to say, don't feel like you can't breathe, but who are they, oxygen? They are not. <laughs> who are they, heartbeat? They are not. You know, you have everything that you possibly have to get. You don't know. You got hidden wonders. You know, the seven hidden wonders. You know, I always be talking about that, seven hidden wonders. You have those different things in your life where it's just, it takes those challenges. It takes those heartaches. It takes that pain for you to recognize within your own self what it was already instilled in you. Those are the things that are forgotten. And it's just like these veils are getting snatched off. You know, and there will be times where we're stuck in confusion. And it's okay. We, we get like that it's like that at times you know you catch the, yourself at wit's end but then if you allow yourself to look you know there's always somebody listening there's always somebody watching you know you triggering already because if somebody's trying to trigger you your growth is triggering you have to understand that you triggering they triggering you you triggering them because the fact is you're allowing yourself to heal. You're triggering people by the ones that, you know, did everything and you ain't saying a word. You still be like, oh, you know, hey, how you doing? And, you know, and you still being, it ain't even about you kissing behind. It's just the fact is you already, you have to say thank you towards that enemy. Because he showed you, you are very valuable. You are valuable to someone. You on somebody's prayer list. You on somebody's, you know, bucket list. Are being connected with because whoever took you for granted there's gonna be somebody that's gonna be worshiping the ground you walk on somebody done you wrong there'll be somebody who'll make sure they doing any and everything to make sure that they never make you feel like you ain't you're not valued you're not you know you're not appreciated they're not gonna do that you had to go through that so it allows you to know when when you see different things like that happen a lot of times we know we're not perfect there'll be certain things like why I gotta go through this with these people or why every time I try to be in my peace there's always something to try to disturb that because the devil is jealous of God he jealous as hell 
And he'll get anybody else that has that same kind of vibration and be talking in their ear. And don't realize that they're leading them to the pasture. But in the same way, they're, what it hurts, it helps. You know, because you tell people there's so many different videos out here. And I, you know, and I felt that too. And I always get that insight. Anything that's trying to destroy you is speeding up the process because it's coming better. They're only helping you get, get forward, you know. Because it's showing you to be determined. It's showing you to be persistent, be consistent. You know? Because it's like anytime you wake up, when you go through that full spiritual awakening, and I tell people, when you go through that full, you know, that full spiritual awakening, and you start getting all these negative talks, you know, that self-talk, you know, where it's telling you, you don't deserve to live. They don't care about you. They don't want you. You need to kill this person. You need to kill that person. Why don't you just do me a big favor and kill yourself? You know, it's all these different things. You're not worthy of this. You're not worthy of that. Because they know. They fear the day you discover. You, you, you know, you are about that purpose. They picked you for a reason. You know, this is not for the weak at heart. You know, if they, you know, because a lot of times we don't have that confidence in ourselves. Like, I don't know how much more of this I can take. I don't know how long I can keep dealing with this. I don't know. You know, because that all it is is the devil talking. That's all it is is the devil wearing your butt down. It got to be on that time like, scooch. You know, I got this. You know, devil always trying to side seat drive. Ego is always trying to side seat drive. Fear is always trying to, you know, side seat drive. Jealousy, envy, all those different things. The seven deadly sins is always trying to side seat drive. I got this. I know where I'm going. I got my own little spiritual GPS that's going to help me. I don't need you and your negative nav navigation to get me stuck somewhere I don't need to be. And that's all it is. It's all it is is showing you. Because if you're going through something where people are pushing hate on you, it's trying to tell you love yourself. Because when you love yourself so much, what other people are saying about you and putting out in the streets about that, that ain't even gonna push. It ain't even gonna push no pain for you. I, oh, I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't connect with that. But you know, it is what it is. I know what I got going on over here. You know, it's fine. You know, they call me this and that. Oh, okay. Quiet as kept. They know they don't want me to start unleashing the beast of truth. It'll be some problems. Because I got receipts on mine. You know. But it'll be just different things like that. Where you'll start. You'll start looking at your enemies in a totally different way. It's like if it wasn't for you. You be having that daggone. You know. Be having that daggone uh, award. You know. I want to thank my enemies for getting me to how far I got here baby. I'm here. It's going to be one of those moments where you're just going to be thankful for everything they did because it never it showed you where your strength lies, your determination, your drive, your endurance to be, you know, to, just to keep challenging yourself. Because you know when you get tired of certain things, you know when you're growing because immature stuff, it'll start irritating your soul. Not like where you want to be like, ugh, you know, but this is like, uh-uh, this don't, uh-uh, uh -uh. you know, it'd be one of those things like, uh-uh. I start getting antsy. And when I said that was God promises, right? <laughs> it was like, oh, I start getting antsy like it disrupt my soul. This give me bubble guts. I can't deal with all that. You know, I like peace in my life. I like harmony in my life. If you want to be disruptive, baby, you keep that mess over there. The disruptive from a distance. 2.5 miles ahead. You know, you deal with all that stuff. And you want to allow yourself. That's why it's just like if I you didn't go through this, you wouldn't find that inner beauty of, in yourself of all the stuff of strength you got. You know, because it's very powerful. It's very potent. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't have so many enemies that's coming at you the way they do. I mean, they sniff you out. There will be certain things that you can say up here and say, hey. You know. Say, hey. You come in the room, your presence irritates somebody. It's either they jealous of something. Either you got something they want or they something. You, you, you are a person that they wish they could be. It's one of those things. You know, but then you're going to have to allow yourself to really understand you slaying demons left and right. When you can get up and place a smile on your face in the morning, when you can get up and get dressed in the morning, you don't even got to go nowhere. You, you just walking down the street and just listening to the birds, watching the trees and stuff. You're slaying demons. When you can sit up here and give somebody, you know, uh, a kind remark towards them. Oh, you know, I like that outfit you got on. Like, oh, I love that car. You know, and you just uplifting somebody. You slaying demons. Or you telling somebody God bless. Or you just give them a moment in, in kindness. When you see somebody is just very, you know, I'm just out on my, you know, I'm just really out on my limb today. I really just don't know. And you just give that person kindness. Do you realize you done slain about 10 million demons? 
they don't like that. They like things to be chaotic. You see how the world's working right now. I'm, I'm seeing how all these different things is coming out in the limelight. People getting, you know, hit with sexual harassment charges and different things. People getting served while they in award ceremonies with some daggone papers. I'm like, really? Y'all doing it like that? You know, it's just a lot of things. And I'm not saying this stuff is right or is wrong, it's true or it's false. But I'm just saying there's a lot of things that people felt like they can keep doing in the dark. And like I said, when people start getting... People start getting sloppy and start getting careless. You just don't know. It can happen in an instant. Just like God said, He can bless you when you least expect it. People can get caught up when they least expect it. You ain't gotta warn nobody. Allow them to keep doing what they're doing. And while you while they doing stuff like that, you keep on praying for them. While you keep sending blessings out and healing vibes for that. You know, because whatever you pushing out, you know, you ain't got to sit up here and wish nothing bad on no enemy. You can't push pain on a miserable person that's already miserable. There is nothing you are doing that's going to create that because they're creating that for themselves. You know, and that's all you're doing. But when you start moving and minding your own business, staying in your own lane, but you keeping accountability, you keeping stock on what's going on around you, but you still ain't allowing that to, you know, push no buttons or move mountains, and you keep focusing. Baby, you don't kill so many legions out there, they ain't even funny. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. If you're going through so many different things right now where it's coming at you all at once, I guarantee you, this is leading you towards home. This is leading you towards your strength. This is leading you towards things to let you know you are evolutionary vibrations. You know, there's something very genuine and very powerful in you. Because if it wasn't, you wouldn't be going through these different things. They don't want you to connect with that to let you know who you really are. Okay? They're, they're really doing that. So you allow yourself to go through whatever you're going through. I'm sending healing vibes out to you. Calming your mind. You know, all these different things that may be going on in your life. I know it can be hitting you hard and can be hitting you every, very heavy. Because the devil knows knows the things that you really truly care about, you really truly love. It's hitting your children, it's hitting your finances, it's hitting your marriage, it's hitting your family, your household. You know, all these different things because he knows that's the way it's going to distract you. This is what it's going to bring you down. But just for the same things you're boldly facing and you know you got God on your side, you know you got universal influences on your side, you know, you got, you know, enforcements. Spiritual enforcement is coming from all over the place. Archangels, you know, spirit guides, you know, source, creator, archangels, angels. You know, you got your family done passed on, ancestors, tribal ancestors, the tribe. You know, they all moving in, you know, thunder beings, all those things. They moving in incognito. Okay, they're really doing that. So allow yourself to know you are not on that journey alone. These are the things that's going to, if it meant to break you, it's going to mean to break, you know, raise you right on up. I'm, tr I'm trusting in that. So you trust in that as well. You keep praying. You keep allowing yourself to keep moving forward. Don't allow anybody on what they're doing to distract you from what is more important into your life. Because those are the same exact things that's going to push you forward. That, that fear is going to be that fuel to keep you moving forward. Trust that. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Sandy Noel. Much love to you. Welcome to the fam. Lorraine Brandon. Much love to you. And things will get better. Keep on pushing. And Jay the Pain Legacy. You know, I'm so happy to know about your, your newborn baby. Thank you. That was my son from another mother. And Alex St. Anger. I love you, man. <laughs> you are silly. But much love to you. Um, If you are new to the channel, please drop a line. I would love a chance to hear from you. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. And as well as my, um, my link to my podcast as well on Spotify. And if you ever feel generous enough to, you know, drop a donation, please, you know, it will greatly be appreciated. I'll leave my cast app, uh, you know, account name is there as well. And, you know, I hope you have a blessed weekend. I don't know why I thought today was uh, Friday, uh, Thursday. I was like, oh, my God, my daughter's like, Mom, it's Friday. I'm like, oh, dang. <laughs> I'm thinking today's Thursday. I'm so lost. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, but I hope you have a blessed weekend. Please be responsible at every single thing you do. And um, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. All those things can really take you a long way. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you and peace.